sightings have been reported all across the city. Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno for a film that needs no introductions because the Smurfs enter our world in glorious 3D. There's still no explanation of what we saw last night over Central Park. All we know is that it's real and it's happening. So, what do you remember of the Smurfs? I don't remember a lot about the Smurfs, actually. I just remember that they had a little song and that there was the blonde Smurfette, and that was it. So um, I can believe that they've come back. I'm quite excited that they've come back. What do you feel about like the animations of, of sort of yesteryear coming back to the big screen? Because we've had Yogi Bear as well, kind of this year as, as well. What, what... It's because a lot of old, the, now the people that are making the films were kids when they, they were watching those programs as kids and they're going, why can't our kids see it? And I totally agree, so it's quite nice. company of my two good friends here yeah I don't know their names they're strangers but I'll know them an awful lot better after the movie actually the blue matches the color of your eyes did you know you were so color coordinated no 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 I saw some ice creams in there which look more purple than blue but you know so uh, we've got the Smurfs here today what are you expecting I've no idea the kids are delighted and excited and uh, so am I I enjoy the kids movies as much as they do so but uh, yeah, it's a Smurf, it's a movie, it's going to be a gas. And do you like these events as well? Is it a, a nice opportunity for the children and yourself? Right for the kids, you know, I mean, mostly the kids, uh, they're not allowed to see um, any of the terrain I cover naturally after a certain hour. And there's far too much bad language, drugs and, and violence. So, and... Uh, and uh, Don't step out on the streets in London. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it used to be Mexico. Cape Town, London, uh, Ballam, but now uh, to the kids, it's a great opportunity. They come in on the train, a bit of ice cream, a bit of Smurf cartoons, they get some balloons and uh, they have a blast. And, and are you a fan of 3D? We've got this in 3D. Uh, I love 3D, although sometimes I wonder whether it's my eyes work with 3D. It depends how much whether I have a drink beforehand. But the kids, one of the kids will not watch it in 3D. She just watches it, you know, I don't know how she does it, but she, they're, they're going to really enjoy it. It's great, you know. And, and you, there's a lot of sort of slapstick comedy. Is that the kind of comedy that you like? Anything, anything. And you know what? If, it, uh, if I fall asleep, I'll still enjoy it. If they're happy, I'm happy. Every smurf loves it! Run! <laughs> We're being attacked! Do not be fooled by their cuteness! They're friendly. That's right, you pasted giant. As an actor, do you do you think about doing animation yourself? Is that something you'd like to give a give a go? I haven't thought about it, but I reckon I would like to do that. That would be fun. Don't let little old me interrupt. Okay. Whoa, is there a draft in here? Nothing like a cool breeze through my enchanted forest. <laughs> I think I just smurfed in my mouth. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I saw the Smurfs when I was younger, and uh, it's really nice to be able to now introduce them to my children. I was going to say, are you a fan of sort of rejuvenating these characters of yesteryear? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think that, you know, there's some that you can't rejuvenate, but, but I think the Smurfs, definitely everything that they stand for can be used today. Um, they're, they're positive, they're happy, and they're blue. And when, that, when you're writing a script for, for animation, that there's an important message for children? I, I think there always needs to be a, a, a message for children when it, comes to, um, when, it, when it comes to films. I don't necessarily want my kids to watch something that's just kind of fluff. Maybe I'm just trying to educate them all the time. But I, I am concerned that I always want, want, want them to come out of it having learned something. This is a live action combined with um, animation as well. So what do you feel as a, an actor about those kind of films? <laughs> Get rid of the cartoons! I hate the cartoons like reality! Uh, no, it's absolutely fine. I love it. I love technology. I love technology in films. It's amazing what you can do nowadays. And anything that enhances the cinematic experience has got the thumbs up from me. You, I was going to say, what do you feel about 3D? Uh, I love 3D. I love 3D. And my daughter, my youngest daughter is now four, and I'm hoping that this time she'll be able to keep the glasses on. Because up until then, she was always taking them off, and I'm hoping today she will get to see the full 3D effect of the Smurfs. As your daughter gets sort of older, you can kind of experience the pleasure with her more, I would have thought, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, because they sit still for a lot longer. Um, it's nice for, for when they're younger, and because I've got a seven-year-old, when you're taking the seven-year-old, you have to take the younger one. You can't say, you have to stay at home. Um, 
But um, but yeah, it's it's a nice experience. Going to the pictures is a nice experience. It's something that we can all do together. And there's no not really any no there are no adverts. I was going to say there's no adverts. Well, this is a, it's a real family occasion, isn't it? Really going to the cinema as well. Yeah, it really is. It's something we thoroughly enjoy doing. And what about yourself as an actress? Would you would like to do animation? Have you done animation? I'm the voice of uh, Amy the Vet in Postman Pat. So I love animation. I think it's really interesting. It's so interesting to have something done that you have to then voice. So you have to uh, stick to whatever the animator's actually done. Uh, it's quite an interesting process. Well, funnily enough, um, Tom Hanks was talking about um, when he was doing it, like animation. And he says you have to say the same thing like over and over again, but in totally in different, different ways. Yeah, that's it, and with different intonations. So it's like if you were saying uh, with Amy the Vet, for example, it would be um, pumpkin don't don't jump off the cliff you'd go pumpkin don't jump off the cliff pumpkin don't jump off the cliff pumpkin don't jump off the cliff just in case you know different kinds of panic is there, is there a different process for you to prepare for that and, and a sort of different requirement from you physically physically I'm usually kind of sat down <laughs> having to animate your, your body, do yeah, you, you emphasise more your voice? No, you do end up animating your body in fairness. Whatever you're kind of doing, you, you do this because it, it brings it out in your voice. You almost have to over-animate what you're doing uh, in the voice booth to make sure that it's not flat, to make sure that what comes out isn't flat. And, and do, you think, do they animate you as well to get a little bit of your characteristics? No, no, not at all. Well, not for me anyway with Postman Pat. She was already made. She was already there. So n none of Angela's in that character. You had to fit in yeah. or yeah. ship out. Or get out. <laughs> <laughs> get her out, Griffin. <laughs> So we're here at the Smurfs. What are you expecting today? Uh, just fun, lots of laughs, and you know, for the kids to really know the Smurfs, because it's something that I grew up in my generation. That's why I brought them along, so they can know what real cartoons is all about. Was it something that, that was a favourite of yours as a child? Oh, definitely. You know, it came, I think it came on Sundays. So Sundays after we've done all our homework and everything else, you can sit down with your dinner and watch the Smurfs. So is it a special moment for you now to be able to have your children and bring you all together and share the moment? Well, definitely. And... I'm here, and I'm, the kids are just my, my excuse, you know. They, they didn't know what we was coming to see, but I wanted to go. And, you know, you can't walk in to see the Smurfs on your own, so you bring the kids along as, you know, a cover. And are you a fan of 3D? Oh, definitely, yes. I got one 3D TVs, you know, courtesy of LG. So, yes, I, you know, I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah, but you're milking it. Don't milk it. The Smurfs in 3D. Well, you really have to take your hat off to all the celebrities that have turned up for this gala screening of the Smurfs. I'm Claire Bueno, and you're watching Premier Scene. Woo! Let's oh. smurf this joint! Oh, no. Clearly that distance is too great. Off you go! No! Oh, goodbye, Blue World! Alright, who smurfed?